at five, a security guard only alive for one reason tonight, the bulletproof vest his father gave him. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anjanette Flowers. And I'm Bobby Sisk. Dave and Sonia are off this evening. The guard had just started his job and was walking the grounds at a school when gunfire erupted. Crime Tracker 36 reporter Michelle Bowden live at that school in Charlotte with a story that could have had a much different ending. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We talked to the guard's mom. She is exhausted. She's been up all night. She really can't believe she still has her son because he was guarding this school, Stony Creek Elementary School. She says, is it only because of the grace of God and her husband who gave their son this bulletproof vest that he's still alive? Uh, he was wearing body armor. And that's probably the only reason 24-year-old security guard Chris Waller is alive. If he was shot in the vest, probably would have been a lethal shot had he not been wearing a vest. Waller was keeping an eye on Stony Creek Elementary, a brand new CMS school set to open in just two weeks. The school had moved all the computers in two days prior to this, flat screen TVs. Waller's yeah, boss speculates the would-be thieves probably didn't expect to run into him and took aim when they did. They told the officer that they were working on the site earlier in the day and left their tools there. When he went to verify it, he opened his phone, to call our supervisor, looked down his phone, looked up, the gun was there, and the muzzle flash. Incredibly, the guard, who was unarmed at the time and only on the job two weeks, is fine. Thanks to his dad, a Salisbury police officer who gave him his old vest to wear on his new job. He's a little shaken up, obviously, because of it, but he's fine. He's returning to work on Monday. Pretty amazing. Despite being shot, he actually got a pretty good description of the car these suspects were in. We're told it was a red Honda Civic, North Carolina plates, partial tag here, TVP9. Also, blue halogen lights on the front of that car. Police tell us they are looking for three men involved in this right now. No suspects still. They say this is pretty amazing. Could have had a very different ending. Reporting live now with our mobile newsroom in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, News Channel 36.